Hello again. Well, we're moving along on our uh, Carl Gustav. I don't know what the heck this is. Um, my brain just went bye bye on this. Is this the Carl version of the. Yeah, this is the Moser Carl. Yeah, I was right. The Carl uh, Thor artillery piece, which is a mortar. Uh, we've already built the rail transports, the support arms, and the uh, mortar cannon itself. So that's ready to go. Now we're going to be working on the transport chassis. This is going to be a little long one. This has got a little, it's got some good fiddly stuff to work on. So, oh, looks like uh, by the end we'll probably be attaching the mortar gun to the chassis. Yeah, looks like that's what we're coming up on. All right, moving right along, kids. So, without further ado, uh, we'll just go ahead and hop right in. So, we'll be right back.
and that is that so the carriage is done the mortar cannon itself is done this isn't glued in so I can paint it and we can set whatever angle we're gonna want which is kind of nice so take care of that later we got two giant shells Jesus let's pretend something like that's dropping in on you oops I guess it doesn't fit <laughs> that's funny all right but yeah Whew, that's a that's a monster now we're gonna jump on to the last piece here and that's the carriages. I thought I'd do this part while talking to you. So what we're supposed to do. Interesting. Huh. Looks like I put those on backwards. Look at that. So. I follow the instructions, but. No, maybe it's right. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so that's done. And that one's on. Now, what they've done is they've put two of these brackets, the lift brackets are on the tank loose and what you're supposed to do is basically pin this one into place like so and then you align that one so that everything is lined up so that's what we're going to do next so there's one pins in maybe there's one pin in place <laughs> all right interesting gotta be careful I'm gonna set both those down that way Pin number one. Wow, this is just fiddly. That's all I have to say. Very, very fiddly. Right. Okay, so let's try again. Lovely. All right, we'll just use this pin. I'll find the other one in just a second. See if we can. Here's the missing one. Okay. Now, try and insert this other one.
Okay, both pins are in. Phew. Yeah, that was fiddly as all get out. So now we can glue these two free rails into place. Pin come out. Nope, pins are still in. Okay. So. short on my really thin glue. Need to get some more. Now the thing is, I'm not going to leave these pins to the truck like this because this is going to be in firing stance so these gantries will actually be spun out of the way and I've uh, placed the plat the working platforms in their down position um, even on the trailer here so and it looks like my hose popped off again weird and I'm gonna have to mold those hoses too So it just does not want to stay on for some reason. Stay there, dang it. Don't cheat. A little bit of Instafix. Gotta love Instafix sometimes. Sometimes it's a little bit too much, but hey, if it works, it works. Right, let's get these out of the way. And let's do the last two bolts on the side. That's why I want to do it live, so you could uh, watch how much of a pain in the butt this is. Oh, this isn't a really cool part of the model. Just extremely fiddly. One. Ah. Okay. Now 
All right, seems like it's not wanting to go through. To the cylinder at oh. all. Yep, there's our problem. Doesn't want to fit. It's okay. We can fix that. there and my little tiny new file and we will <laughs> now it fits Again. Oh. Oh, look how easy that was. Just goes to show you should always test fit your pieces, kids. I know that. I should have known that. I should have tried that. <laughs> and this pin just fell out. So now those pieces can be glued into place. And that's what we will do right now. Yeah, we're cooking. Okay. So. Now the funny thing is. That. Actually works. As the support is supposed to. So that entire tank chassis is off of the ground. Uh, I'll have to bring the camera down to show you. But there we go. That's it. Now, what I'm going to do, go ahead and set the mortar in where it's supposed to. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull all these pins and I'm gonna put them back in their davits and glue them in place so we don't lose them because that's where you would have stored the pins anyway. And then both of these gantries will be swiveled back over 
um, over the back side of the uh, vehicles of the cha train chassis. And then this will actually be sitting down on the rail bed and ready to fire. So that's the plan. Let me uh, give you a couple quick little close-ups of her. And uh, we'll come back next time. But it's a fun build. That is a good, good kit. This is a good kit. Um, minor fit issues. I had some... You know, like, I think I was missing one whole piece, so not really upset about that. But tiny little fit issues here and there, but otherwise, this is a great, great kit. This is, this looks nice. This is going to be kind of awesome when I'm finished up. All right, so uh, let me get you some close-up shots, and uh, until next time, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe to my videos, and until uh, next time, have a great day. I'll see you later. Now, of course, I haven't put the track on yet. Track will be put on a little later on after I get the detailing and paint and all the weathering done on the... Uh, road wheels here but you can actually see she is up off the ground supported by just the train so yeah the gantries are working as they're supposed to get a close-up of those lift davits right there so yeah Nice detail, especially for, come on, focus, baby, especially for a 172nd kit, that, that's some really nice detail. Actually, I shouldn't say that, 172nd, you know, for a vehicle this big, that's pretty sizable. Let's look at the business end. I'm sorry. Okay, that's enough of that. Well, like I said, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.